Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm just uh, looking around to see where my dog is because he was just here a couple of minutes ago. Oh, he's um, <laughs> he's still such a funny dog. He's lying under the uh, the workbench where we have all the boxes. I don't know why he does that, but okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the updated sponsor list of December 2017 which has almost come to an end. And um, <laughs> we have a, um, let's see, we have first and second Christmas day coming up. That's tomorrow and the day after. And um, I, wanna, I wanna tell you guys that I won't be doing videos the first and second Christmas day unless I want to be served with uh, divorce papers by my husband. <laughs> Don't wanna do that. So, um, I won't be, uh, I'll be off for two days because I have to do something, you know, Christmassy, make special little dishes and um, put on the little wax lights all over the house and make it all special. Um, I'm not a Christmassy person, but, you know, to keep the peace at home, well, I'll just go along with it and uh, we'll have some fun. Um, we did watch a, a series together. Uh, TV show because um, well usually we don't it's usually my husband sitting in a chair and me sitting behind the computer answering all the questions but <laughs> I did manage to do that yesterday and we watched uh, The Fall and um, uh, the uh, the show features Scully from The X-Files I think she did a good job only the last season season three wasn't so sp spectacular yeah she got hit in the head a couple of times but <laughs> Other than that, I didn't think there was much to the story. So um, the first two seasons were pretty good. That was fun. I like watching those serial killer things, you know. That was fun. Okay, guys, what are we going to do? I mixed up um, some of the um, beautiful paints that I got from Judy. So I want to thank Judy again for sending me the interference. The funny thing is, and Judy, please don't be sad, but I had those paints. And... The, it's totally, you call them uh, something different than we call them. Because um, you call them interference, and here they call it pearl. So that's, I would never have guessed they were the same thing. But as you can see here, this is the uh, violet. It comes out like that. And when you put it on here, only when the light catches it, you see that it's violet. I'm not sure if you can see that there, but let me see if I can change. Oops. No, you can't. I can't get the light on it that well. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. Here is the, uh, the one from Golden. And... The funny thing is, they are both so the same. Exactly the same shade of violet. That is so funny for me. So um, maybe it comes from the same factory. Who knows? But I'm going to do a pour with some of these colors. And the funny thing is that we will not know how this is going to work. Because we've never tried this before. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing up Windsor & Newton with Golden. So I'm going to put them all together. And then I mixed up some of my, I made a, this is a sort of the same deal that I put some special sort of silver mica in here. And I'm hoping that it'll show up when it's dry. Not sure. But I got all these colors. So this is a interference color. Not sure if you can see it. And I got some normal colors. And then another interference color, here it is. Eh, you just can't see it. You can only see it when it's dry, I think. I, you can see it a little bit on, on the paper, but when the uh, light really hits it, that's when it really comes to life. So we'll just do some testing. And I'm going to do a flip cup, because that feels like the good thing to do. So the, all those colors will be mixing together. And 
and what I really want to do is at the end I'm going to do a couple of photo papers. I know there are some people that don't like me doing that, but I don't care. So <laughs> I'm in a mood today. I really am. So um, at the end I'm going to do that because I have a feeling that if I do it right, it will sort of resemble Mother of Pearl because that's what these colors remind me of, the interference. So that might be really cool. So let us just do that. So we're going to start off with this, which is not white, it's more of an eggshell color. And of course we want some pink. And then I come in with the interference paints. See what happens there. And of course a little blue. Plop it right in. Then some of this. This is just a normal Windsor & Newton. And I'm doing it from up high so the paint really splashes into it. And why I do that is because it mixes. It mixes up a little. So I'm just putting the colors one by one in the painting. And even though these aren't my favorite colors, somehow I do sort of like them. It is kind of candy colored something like that and some of the darker just a little contrast there then come back in with the white well the eggshell because we need a full cup for this 20 by 20 whatever happens you need a full cup so i think that's enough so this is almost 100 milliliters of paint for a 20 by 20 and you will see how much that we have left over or not. See how the paint really went straight through when you pour it from up high. So we're gonna let it flow a little bit. And let it run down here. Whoops. And I'm gonna come straight in with my little torch because I do want to uh, get some bigger some bigger cells that's kind of nice and now I'm gonna stretch them so one way that way I'm going to do it fast because I want to keep this, the definition of these cells and this bit here, I want to keep that. So I might even, oh no, it's working out. Wow, that is beautiful. It, it's already like Mother of Pearl. Somehow it's really, really beautiful. I'm going to get a little palette knife if I can find one because I'm going to do the sides straight away, pull it down a little. That is really pretty here and up here. Let that run down there a little bit. fully covered maybe here a little bit on the corner okay now I'm gonna scrape along the bottom there are some awesome cells pulling way down that is really beautiful Wow I am um, I'm really uh, very uh, excited about this but I'll be more excited when this all dries up and there will be this beautiful shimmer of um, the interference popping through. That's when I'm going to really, really love this stuff. So right now I'm going to give you a little close-up. <gasps> Oops, keep it straight. Let's see that bit there. There it goes. See that? Now I am going to make sure that um, most of the bubbles are out because we have to do that.
I don't really like uh, when it's um, when it's dried up and you see all those air bubbles because um, that makes it for me it makes it less interesting. So I'm gonna pop some bubbles. And that's about it now I'm hoping that you know we cannot I cannot tell you that these cells are all gonna stay because I've never uh, done these uh, two paints together that's number one and I've never used the interference uh, paints like this so that's number two so we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed that the definition of these cells that it's gonna stay like that but um well I do have a good feeling about it. Wait a minute, just let me get in close. Yeah, I am seeing a little bit of that interference working now. Um, looking back at it, I think I would have liked um, a purple. If I had put a little bit of darker purple in it. And I gotta say that when I, you know, I can, I'll show you what I see. Wait a minute. See my monitor there? So while I'm doing this, I'm, I'm looking in the monitor. I'm not lo really looking at the piece, but I look at the monitor. And what I see is that the monitor just does not give you that, what I'm seeing right here, because there are, up here, there's something really beautiful going on and you just can't see it on the monitor. Right here, you see all these, in between, you see a lot of darker pink, and I probably, th this color, and because I've used blue, when it comes together, it makes a sort of a violet. So I'm seeing a little bit more color on my canvas than I am when I'm looking into the monitor. But we'll uh, let it dry. And we're hoping it's going to dry a little darker than it is right now. And that just might be, well, you never know. And then we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to put this away now. I've already laid out the paper that it can drip on. And I'm going to make sure that it's level. So there we are. We finished doing that. Now I'd like to uh, come back in with a little bit of that photo paper and see if we can make something that resembles uh, Mother of Pearl because that's what I'm really going for. Because we do a lot of... Um, you post stuff for uh, for jewelry, but can you imagine what would happen if you got this mother of pearl effect with these uh, interference paints? This is pretty thick. It is selling, but as you can see, there it is, just a tiny little bit. And I will keep this because I want to see how it dries. But as you can see here, this is how it should be, uh, should come out when it's dry because this is the dried version of the uh, interference. Now, maybe a good thing if you if you want to do this and you want to do it low budget, that you um, when you go to the shop you look for anything that has something like pearl in it too because um, it's not just interference what's on the uh, on the tubes like I showed you just before. It also has something to do with pearl. So this one is the interference. Let me put it on top. This one too. And I put a little mica in this one. So let's see what we got. Oh, that is pretty. I do like that swipe. Okay, we'll uh, just keep this one too, although I am going to take care of the uh, excess uh, paint that's on here because it's a little bit too much paint. But that's kind of cute. 
Okay, here are the birds. That's a lot of crows. Don't know what they're doing, but there's a lot of them. I feed them too, and my husband doesn't like me feeding them. He says they're just like rats. But I think, well, I feed the rats too, so who cares? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm sorry. Okay, let's look. I am um, sort of observing the, of observing that the um, the paint does not really sell as much as normal paint. So there's something in there that sort of keeps the cells softer, as you can see up close. But what I'm looking for is when this uh, when this stuff dries, that it's going to give me some sort of a pearly pearly thing. So I'm going to put these two away and then do something, oops, different. And my dog really wants to go in the house, but he'll just have to wait till we're ready. Now, one more, but then I'm going to do just the normal paint. Oops. Don't fall on the paper. That's it. Then a little bit of the lighter one. I wish that thing would f get its focus in check without me having to touch the, uh, the screen. Okay, here we go. And let's do it that way. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it has to do with the mica, the mica that I put in uh, in the white. Because as I can see, this should normally really sell like crazy, like lacing. But as you can see, just a little bit here, but here it does nothing almost. So it has to do with the mica that I put in the paint. So that's good to know. We'll just take that as a little learning experience. I'll keep it anyway because I like the colors. And let's torch this bit here. Nothing happening really to, uh, not, not really uh, spectacular. So we'll just keep it like this, that's it. Okay guys, um, ooh, I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. There you are. <laughs> and uh, I, I might be back with another um, uh, video. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, got some cooking to do for tomorrow and the day after, as all of you probably do too. So um, we'll see what, uh, what time I have left this afternoon and maybe I'll come back with another one. But up to now, I'd like to thank Judy for sending me the paint, which uh, I really appreciate. I hope the painting that I just poured is going to be fabulous when dry because it's going to go right back to you, Judy. I'm going to send it to you. If it's really pretty, I will. So thanks all, see you later.